We're joined by Bones Highland, Ace Baldwin, and Levi Stockard. A couple of notes. Uh, Bones Highland with a career high 30 points tonight. Um, <laughs> seven three pointers. Uh, Ace Baldwin also, also with a career high 10 points tonight. So, Doms. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mark Davis. All right, guys. Uh, nice win. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Bones, got to ask you what, what, you know, what was clicking for you tonight? You know, you were obviously feeling it from downtown, especially the second half. What, when did you know you were in the groove? It was going to be a big night. Uh, I mean, obviously in the first half, I mean, shot wasn't falling, but I mean, just stick and sticking to myself and my teammates definitely always encourage me every time I have like a little slow start. I mean, but just, just them giving me the, the confidence and, and staying with me through them through them through the moments where I'm missing, it, it helps me to keep going. When you have a performance like this, you know, in an early season game against a team you're prohibitively favored to beat, you know, how can that kind of propel you and give you confidence for, you know, down the road in the conference schedule as well? Can they intertwine? I mean, it's just normal to me, honestly, just I me mean, living in the gym. I mean, credit to my teammates, obviously. They help me, and with, with the confidence part, I mean, just just believing me, man, believing in me, and just knowing I can do it, honestly. So, I mean, want to keep it going forward, but definitely credit to my teammates. Thanks, Bones. Wes McElroy. Guys, a question really for all three of you. This is a perfect setup tonight for a game to come in. You guys know what they were coming in off of a, a back to back. Probably a perfect setup for maybe a letdown performance. And you guys came out strong. You're a young team. You're a mixed group of guys. But, Bones, if you could start off, and I'd like to get all three of your answers on this, is there's a sign of maturity on this team. And did that did we see that tonight by the way you guys handled this opponent knowing what they were coming in off of? I mean, I would say, yeah, because I feel as though each and every person on this team can hold each other accountable, accountable for their actions. And even, like, if they mess up, like, you could, you could just talk to them. Even if they don't go, you could just talk to them. I feel as though, like, everybody feels feel comfortable with everybody. And, and when you have the, the bond like that, I feel as though we can go very far. And as a young team, it, it don't even seem like a young team. That's how, like, mature we is. Like, we just stick together through it all. Um, like Busy said, man, we – we everybody get along, everybody mess with each other. We can talk to each other. I feel like that's a that's a big step with teams going forward with maturity. And if I could add just squeeze one in more bones, if we could just speak for the team in general. I, I'm sure you guys are privy, you're looking around, you're seeing this game canceled, that game canceled. Is there just an appreciation almost even with every game that you can just go out and you actually have a game to play? No, nah, honestly, that, that's big appreciation. Honestly, I mean, we taking the protocol very seriously, uh, keeping our mask on, staying away from people. And it's just, you know, you follow the rules, you always get to play. And I feel as though, like, it's just, it's a blessing to us, obviously, to keep playing every 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 time we have a game and not a game being canceled. I mean, and definitely credit to other teams that's, that's doing the same thing and following the protocol. So I feel as though, like, just moving forward, I hope everybody still follow the protocol, wear your mask, and uh, hopefully get this get thing going. Thanks, guys. Wayne Epps. Hey guys, I was wondering um, to this point, what's the, the biggest progression you're seeing, um, you know, group group overall progression you're seeing uh, from game one to this point? Uh, I would say I, I feel as though certain players are, are starting to get more and more comfortable as you see game, game in uh, every game you, you see more and people, you see more flashes. So I feel as though like each and every game, you're gonna see something new from each uh, player on the team. I'll say leadership because, like, once somebody, like, down, like, everybody, like, pick them right, right back up. Like, it's just not leaving your head down. And the second one for Bones, I just wondering what, what, what goes through your head when you, when you get hot like that from, from deep? Like, uh, is it just a confidence thing? Or what kind of goes through your head when you get on those streaks like that, like you had in the second half? Uh, I mean, honestly, for me, in the first half, obviously I was missing, but it, it's, all, it's obviously just me just – I would say just keep talking to myself and keep bringing myself up because I know I can make them shots. I practice them every day. I'm in the gym every day. So I feel as though, like, even when I go through the moments, I'm like, yeah, I, I like you, you work for this. Like, it's going to drop. Like, ain't no way you're going to keep shooting, keep missing. So I just know, like, they're going to fall eventually. And once I'm hot, it ain't no stopping me. Sean Robertson. Hey, guys, congratulations on the win. I want to get your thoughts about uh, Cameron Langley came in 
leading the nation in minutes, steals, and also assists. What was the talk amongst you guys in regards to taking on that challenge of guarding him and the game plan to slowing him down tonight? Uh, get him out of his comfort zone. Like, heat him up. Like, don't let him get comfortable at all. Uh, having a great ball screen, D, keeping him out the lane, containing him, really. Bones, any 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 additional uh, I would thoughts? Say he, he's definitely a good player as far as, like, him making a uh, place for his teammates, but we definitely just wanted to to make him uncomfortable and, and, and throw different uh, coverages at him and just get him out of his comfort zone. So I feel as though we did a good job with that, but definitely credit to him. And if I can do a quick follow-up for you, Ace, you know, it seems like you are continuously becoming more and more comfortable with this offense. What is it about maybe your makeup and this offense that it seems like it kind of fits together? Oh, uh, it's just, it just like, it all worked together. It's just like as a team. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Noah Fleischman. Uh, Levo, this one's for you. For the past couple of games, it's kind of started off going to you in the paint. So how important is it to, I guess, build that paint presence early in the game after you guys put 40 up in the paint tonight? Cadillac. I mean, it's an inside out game, man. Once I get going, it opens up the floor for everybody, man. That's when you see Busy hitting his shots. <laughs> yeah, <Bob. laughs> That's Cadillac, man. <baby. laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Any further questions for the players? I got one, Chris. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I just want to get y'all initial thoughts about Saturday's game, the big rivalry game with Old Dominion. I know Ace, I mean, Bones, you've been in this rivalry once. Um, what do you tell the new guys about this rivalry on Saturday? Uh, I would say, honestly, last year, I didn't know it was a rivalry game. I, I thought only Richmond was. So, I mean, coming in Saturday, I would tell them. I mean, they, they know that we like, you treat a rivalry game like a regular game, obviously. But I would say, I mean, just, just come in with more aggressiveness because they're going to do the same thing. So, just come in with some confidence and just be ready to play, honestly. But I feel as though we all just always ready to play, though. All right, guys. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you.